Hello children and welcome back to another story time. So have you seen spring is on its way and all the plants and trees are starting to grow again? Now one of those plants is Christopher's favourite snack. Let's find out what it is. Christopher Nibble in A Tale of Dandelion Daring Do by Charlotte Middleton If there was one thing Christopher Nibble loved more than football, it was eating dandelion leaves. He ate dandelion leaves at breakfast time, at lunch time and at dinner time. And if Christopher felt peckish between meals, he ate more dandelion leaves. But it was not just Christopher who liked dandelion leaves. Mr and Mrs Nibble liked them. His sister liked them. His friends liked them. In fact, every guinea pig in Dandeville loved dandelion leaves. All day long, the happy sound of munching and nibbling filled the air. Until, that is, dandelion leaves began to run out. Dandelion leaves were taken off the menus and dandelion drinks disappeared from the shelves. The last few leaves could be bought on the internet for a huge amount of money. Soon, the worst thing imaginable happened. All over town, the dandelions had been munched to nothing more than bitten down stalks and the guinea pigs had to make do with chewy cabbage instead. Just one dandelion was left, but nobody knew about it except Christopher Nibble. It happened to be growing right outside his bedroom window. Christopher's mouth watered at the sight of it, but he knew he mustn't eat it or let anyone else eat it. Not if it was the last dandelion in town. It might even be the last dandelion in the whole world. He thought hard and decided to go to the library. He borrowed a book called Everything You Need to Know About Dandelions and he read it very carefully. He found a little cloche to protect his dandelion and every day he watered it and picked off the bugs. Every day he was very good about not taking even the tiniest little nibble while he waited and waited and waited until finally his dandelion had grown the most beautiful white head of tiny seeds. Very gently, Christopher picked it and carried it all the way up Daisy Chain Hill. When he reached the top, he had just enough puff to take a deep breath and... (gasps) Below! The seeds filled the air and landed gently all over Dandeville. At first, nobody noticed. But soon the new plants started to sprout fresh leaves. And in no time at all, Dandeville was filled with the happy sound of munching once more. As for Christopher, he still loves playing football. But now there's something he loves just as much as eating dandelions. Christopher loves growing them. I hope you like that, children. And are you thinking what you might grow this spring? Let me know what plants you could be planting and then munching on. And I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye.